All right, guys, we're almost there. Um, so what we're looking at here are coordinates in degrees, minutes, seconds. Uh, we need to convert these to decimal degrees in order to, for it to work with the, um, the ArcPy tool that I'm going to use. Um, so I actually have a function that does this exact thing that converts decimal degrees to, or I'm sorry, converts degrees, minutes, seconds to decimal degrees. So I'm just going to copy that in for us, and we're just going to we're just going to use it that way. Uh, so I'm going to paste that function in here. Okay, and you see it takes a value. So I'm going to this is what we're going to be feeding it a value that looks like this, and this is actually a tuple of tuples, and you can tell that because of the outer parentheses there. That means it's a tuple, and then inside that tuple we have three individual tuples for degrees, minutes, seconds. So if we put that here, that's what's going to be passed in. Um, degree zero is going to equal what gets passed in, the value zero, so the first tuple, and the first index of the first tuple, so 38. So this is going to equal 38. And then this is the first index or first tuple second index right there that's going to equal one and then so on and so forth for the minutes and the seconds here and then we do some fancy math calculations here and basically we end up with the decimal degrees so let me let me just prove this to you okay so let's go back down here and instead of printing lat long actually let's make a new variable called lat in degrees and set it equal to convert to degrees and we're just going to convert lat to degrees and then we're going to do the same exact thing but for longitude and we'll throw in long there and we'll print lat in degrees and long in degrees alright let's see what we get cool there we go so now we have these numbers in decimal degrees um, okay we're almost there one small caveat I forgot to mention um, we need to check whether or not it's in the western hemisphere or southern hemisphere because in those instances the value should be negative. So I know for a fact that this 77 should actually be a negative 77 um, because we are over here in the Western Hemisphere and this around here is negative 77. Um, so the latitude is correct with a positive 38. So yeah, we, we also have to check for south. So that is why earlier we got these GPS um, longitude references and latitude references because we're just going to do a quick check here so what we can say is if the longitude ref literally if it's equal to W we're going to make uh, long in degrees not lat long in degrees equal to the Abs the negative absolute value of of that and then similarly for so long in degrees If lat reference equal to south, so this will just put a negative if it's in the southern hemisphere for the latitude. All right, and then we also we have to just.
so we'll just say else long in degrees equals um, convert to degrees longitude if that equals that else lat in degrees equals convert to degrees lat okay that makes sense so let's run this and this should give us a negative of 77 Okay, good. That looks good to me. Um, cool, so I think we're at a good spot. Um, let me check on time, and we might break this up into another video. Uh, yeah, we're getting around six minutes, so let me just cut this off. And uh, the next step is feeding these numbers into an ArcPy tool. So uh, stick tight, and we'll, we'll do that in the next tutorial.